Good day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Least Common Multiple. That's right, today we're going to be talking about The Least Common Multiple, also known as the LCM. More specifically, the LCM of 6 and 20. And the first method we can use to find the LCM of 6 and 20 is to simply skip count by 6 and then 20. So let's do that first. So we're going to do 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. Now, let's go ahead and skip count by 20s until we find a number that appears on both lists. 20, 40, and 60. And looky there, we have a 60 here, we have a 60 there, and thus, the least common multiple is 60. Now let's see if this listing method works with 5 and 8. Let's go ahead and skip count by 5s. So we're going to do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Now let's skip count by 8s until we find a match. We got 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Oh, hey, <laughs> look at there. We got ourselves a match. A 40 there and a 40 there. And because it is the smallest number that appears on both lists, it is the least common multiple. Now, let's try it with one more set of numbers, and then I'll show you an additional method that you can try if it's not easy to list. Now, in this case, it might be a little difficult to count by 16s because, well, I didn't learn how to count by 16s. Um, you can probably figure it out, or you can try this here calculator trick. You can simply take 16 and then go plus 16, so 16 plus 16 on your calculator, and then just keep hitting the equal button and it'll count for you. So let's do that. We got 16, uh, 32, 48, and uh, 64, just for kicks and giggles. Now, I do know how to skip count by 12, so let's just do that. We got 12, 24, 36, 48. Now, we know that the least common multiple is gonna be 48 because it is the smallest number that appears on both lists. But I know what you're saying. You're like, didn't you say you were going to show us another method? Yes, I did, and yes, I will. So let's dive right into it. Beginning with 16, I'm simply going to use a factor tree to find all of its prime factors. So I know that uh, 4 times 4 is 16, and I'm going to break the 4s apart into 2 times 2 each. And those are the prime factors of 16. So let's list those over here. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, let's do the same thing for 12. 12, I know we can simply do 3 times 4 is 12. 3 is prime, so I carry it down, and then I can break apart the 4 into 2 times 2 and list the factors right here. 3 times 2 times 2. Now, we know that if they have factors in common, we can simply place them in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. Because I have a 2 here and a 2 there, I'm going to place it right here. Now, over here I've got a 2, and over there I've got a 2, so I can go ahead and represent both of those 2's in the middle. I'll erase those because they're represented, and now we've got everything organized. Now to find the least common multiple, all you have to do is multiply everything together. So let's do it and see if we come up with 48. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and 16 times 3 <laughs> is in fact 48. So it did work. Let's see if it works with uh, these other numbers over here. Well, this should be pretty easy because we got 5, which is prime. So let's do that. 5 times 1 is 5. So the prime factors of 5 are going to just be 5 and 1. And then we got 8, which we're familiar with, but let's break it apart. 2 times 4 is 8. Carry down the 2. And then 2 times 2 is 4. And so now the prime factors of 8 are going to be 2 times 2 times 2. Now, if we did this correct, we should be able to multiply everything together here and come up with 40. Because I 
don't know if you noticed or not, but there's nothing that we can stick in the middle because they don't have any prime factors in common. So let's just multiply them together and see if it works. So we got five times one is five, and then five times two is 10, and then 10 times two is 20, and then 20 times two is 40. So it totally worked there too. Let's try it on the first problem. Let's write down the prime factors of uh, six. I'll just do it over here. So we know that three times two is six. So we'll put the prime factors of six over here, three and two. And now let's break apart 20. I got two times 10 is 20, two is prime, and then 10 can be broken apart as two times five. So let's put the prime factors of 20 over here, which would be two, two, and five. Now, you probably noticed that we have some factors in common. So we can go ahead and erase those two and put them in the middle, represented by the one, two. Now, we should be able to multiply these together and get a least common multiple of 60. Let's try it. Three times two is six. Six times two is 12. And 12 times five is in fact 60. So I do hope that was helpful to you. That is two different ways to find the least common multiple. Best of luck to you and ta-ta for now.